Nick wants to purchase a pair of running sneakers priced at $130. If the sales tax is 8%, how much will Nick have to pay for the sneakers? There's two ways of doing this. I'll show you both ways, of course. So here, I know that sales tax is 8%. So tax is on top of the 130. So if I have 130, that's the shoes, right? Shoe cost, uh, let's see, whoops, 8%, which translates to 0 0.08 is the tax cost, correct? Well, then the entire cost, so total cost, is equal to the shoe, oops, shoe plus tax, right? In this country, we have the sales, t the sales MSRP value, right? Plus the tax. So you've got to figure out what the tax amount is and the shoe cost. So our total cost, I can't, I'm having a hard time writing today. Total cost is equal to 130 plus 130 times 0 0.08, right? Because what is 8% of 130? So our total cost is equal to 130 plus, I'm going to grab my handy dandy calculator, 130 times 0 0.8 is equal to 10.4 or $10.40. So the total cost of the shoe, right, is 130 plus 10.4 is $140.40. So that's the total cost for the shoes. So this is one way to do it. So I'm gonna call it version one. The second way to do it, let me change colors. The second way to do it is to recognize that you, so our, the total cost is still the 130 plus the 130 times the tax, right? 0 0.08. Here, if I factor out the 130, this is 130 times 1 plus 0 0.08, which is 130 times 1.08. Or in terms of percents, remember that 1.08 as a percent is 108%. So going in line with our number two argument up here, Remember that 120% of 60 means that you're definitely, you definitely have 60, but plus 20% more. So here in two, what this says is that we're obviously paying the 130 for the shoes, but plus 8% more. So what we, can, what we can do is we, in one swoop, rather than finding the tax and adding it, we can just say, okay, 130 times 1.08, the one includes the 130, the 0.08 includes the tax. So we're paying 108% total. So, and I'll show you with the calculator, 130, add the zero times 1.08 is indeed the 140.4. So just, you know, different ways, I don't care which way you do it, one or two, Whatever, whatever makes sense to you, that's the way I want you to do it. Either the shoe cost plus find tax and then add it, or add them together, recognize that you're paying 108%. So then multiply times the cost and you're done. Again, one way is not easier or better than the other. It, they're just different. I, I mean, difference not bad, difference just different. You choose the way you like, you do that way.